This is my 2016 Wilderness Systems Zephyr 160. Thought today would be a good day to do a review. I'm on the eastern shore of Nova Scotia. It's early spring, we've got wind gusts up to 60. So there's quite a bit of wind chop. There's a bit of swell out there too. I've taken some shelter behind this island to do a review. So, it's a full rockered boat, not too aggressive, but aids in its mobility. Uh, it's soft chine and skeg. So starting from the front, you have the comfort grip carrying handles. You have multiple bungee tie downs. Uh, so comparing this to a Tempest, your, uh, the clips for the bungees are plastic, but uh, they seem to be holding up quite well. You have full perimeter lines, a recess for a compass. This particular model I have is, uh, so far, the hatches have stayed quite dry, uh, although there are some poly boats who ha seem to have issues with that. Fairly easily rectified with some elbow grease. Uh, the seat system is by far the most comfortable seat I've sat on in, in any type of kayak. Uh, very adjustable. The foot peg system is uh, pretty well the only feature I'm not a huge fan of. They're plastic and it's uh, a gravity fed or a gravity held system. So uh, it's easy to adjust, It'd be a great boat for an outfitter. Uh, for rental fleet, but uh, I'm gonna have to tie them down so I don't lose my foot peg position while I'm upside down doing rolls. It does have a day hatch in the rear and a large hatch at the far end. So there's three bulkheads and you can see even more bungee tie downs. So it's called an aggressive soft chine. So you can see it's uh, got a slight V in the bottom as well, uh, but it is round hauled. And that soft chine is, uh, is fairly sharp. That's where the, the aggressive sh soft chine terms came from. So far, I'm very impressed with this boat. It's 23 inches wide, so that's uh, quite wide for a sea kayak. Uh, but it definitely gives you a, a great sense of stability uh, coming across with uh, quartering winds and beam seas with wind chop, I felt exceptionally comfortable. Uh, far less of a, a tippy feeling compared to I had a, a Nigel Foster Legend previously, and uh, prior to that, a, a Tempest 170, which this has a, a very similar feel to it. Uh, the Zephyr seems to accelerate faster. So it, it is lighter. It's, I believe, only 56 pounds. It's a 16 foot long boat. Uh, but its top speed isn't going to be as much as the Tempest. But uh, it feels quite quick for uh, a relatively short sea kayak, especially one that wide. Uh, being only 56 pounds, it makes shouldering very nice. And uh, it feels lighter. It's well balanced. I don't have the, the bow or stern tipping up and down while I'm walking. It's uh, becoming one of my favorite boats. It's definitely an all-rounder. It does wet surfs well. Uh, it doesn't purl too bad. It's got a fairly full bow with, uh, again, the, the full rocker. And uh, I'll see how it handles coming home and uh, heading straight into the winds. But uh, I suspect that it's going to excel in that direction as well.